I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Newton's method. One of the most important application of this method is to calculate interest rate in whenever we have compounding periods. Once you understand how to apply this method for calculating the interest rates, I am sure you will forget about all other methods you have learned so far, including using logarithms, excel sheets and everything. Let's look into this example and understand how to solve questions for finding interest rate using newton raphson's method. There is a situation. A new car worth 24000 is offered for payments of $500 per month for 5 years. Find the equivalent monthly interest rate. Now you need to apply this formula which is annuity formula wherever we have recurring uh, payments. The formula is the current value, the present value A equals to the recurring accounts, amounts which you pay same amount every month R divided by the interest rate per compounding period. In our case it is monthly interest rate which we need to find within brackets 1 minus 1 plus interest rate to the power of minus n. n is the number of times when the interest is compounded. Now in our case a the amount is 24,000 correct and uh, r the amount being paid every month is $500 n is uh, monthly uh, per month for 5 years 12 times 5 right um, 12 times 5 which is 60 so n is 60 so substituting these values we get a in this equation r over i within bracket 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of minus n a is 24,000, so we write 24,000 equals to R is 500, I we need to find and we have a 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of minus 60. Now let's multiply this by this factor, we need to somehow isolate uh, and create a function right basically so we could write this as 24,000 times I over 500 equals to 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of minus 60 so dividing 24,000 by 500 what do we get we get 48 so we have 48 i now this number 1 plus i to the power of minus 60 this is in the denominator so we can multiply each term by this right so if we do that what we get here is 48 i times 1 plus i to the power of 60 right equals 2 this also gets multiplied by this 1 plus i to the power of 60 minus 1. Okay. So basically we get our function which is of the form so we are this right bringing them all together uh, we get our function. So we can define this as our function f of x which is 48i 1 plus i to the power of 60 minus 1 plus i to the power of 60 plus 1. Correct. So that becomes the function. Now to use Raphson's method we have the formula which is uh, uh, we just uh, assume some value to start with and the next value is xn plus 1 equals to initial value minus f of xn over its derivative. Correct. So we need to find the derivative of this function. We'll put them all in this formula to calculate approximate interest rate. 
So derivative of this will be what? Here we have, uh, we'll differentiate with respect to i. So, so here we have um, a product rule, correct? So derivative of 48i is 48. So we get 48 times 1 plus i to the power of 60. Now derivative of the other function is 60 times. So we get plus 60 times 48 times i and here the power will be 59 right one less derivative of this term will be minus 60 1 plus i to the power of 59 so that is what we get as the derivative okay now with all this we can now apply uh, the formula we only need to decide what could be the starting value right so let us assume that uh, for us xn the starting value is 1% per month right so let's take xn as 1% so 1% per month so which will be 1 divided by 100 or 0 0.01 correct using that value we can find xn plus 1 right so so we are saying n equals to 1 to start with right so xn plus 1 I write the general formula now so what we have here is this particular formula so will be xn minus f of x which is all this right uh, which is uh, 48 i so which will be I will write instead of i I will write xn right plus 1 plus xn to the power of 60 minus 1 plus xn to the power of 60 plus 1 divided by the derivative which is 48 1 plus xn to the power of 59 we can multiply 60 and 48 right so so if you do 60 times 48 you get 2880 right zero Okay. So we get plus 2880 i, which is xn, times 1 plus xn to the power of 59 minus, let me write here, minus 60 times 1 plus xn to the power of 59, right? So that comes here. So anyway, you could actually expand this, right? 60 to the power of this and 60i to the power of that. You could simplify this a bit and then uh, utilize the formula, right? Well, at present, we are using calculator as such. We'll use this value as such, okay? So now, uh, let's calculate. So basically, we'll begin with 0 0.1. So the calculation is I'll show you how to do the calculation which is faster so we have one person which is uh, let's say one divided by hundred which is one person right so that becomes our answer so we start with the answer so that becomes xn minus now we have to write all this so I'm putting two brackets here then we have 48 times the answer so wherever there is xn, I'm writing answer, which is 0 0.01 for me, right? So 1 plus answer, exponent is 60, and then we have minus, within brackets, 1 plus answer, again the exponent is 60, plus 1. So that's the numerator, right? So we have to divide uh, this numerator by all this which is 48 within brackets 1 plus answer to the power of 59 plus 2880 uh, times answer within bracket 1 plus answer to the power of 59 minus 60 within brackets 1 plus answer to the power of 
59 right so two brackets close so that gives you a value which is uh, so we get so let's say we start with x1 which was 0 0.01 okay so when we calculate it using this formula we get x2 as this value which is 8.169398 I'll write this much 10 to the power of minus 3 correct so this is our first approximation after we substitute the value 0 0.01 so that is our x2 now what we need to do is go back to our formula which is already there and answer will automatically take this value and if I press equal to I get my second approximation so I get the value x3 as 7.65533 times 10 to the power of minus 3 so if I do it again and calculate equal to the new value of answer gets substituted I get the fourth approximation as 7.627750 times 10 to the power of minus 3 and I can repeat this process as many times as I want. The idea here is to get some values which are uh, consistent, right, at least for three decimal places. So now we get x5 as equal to uh, 7.628634 uh, times 10 to the power of minus 3. So what we see here is we get this as 7.6286, right? Uh, we could go one more time since there is a kind of difference 6 2 we are matching we are not matching 8 right so we can do one more time and calculate this answer which is now uh, let me write here uh, our final value which is uh, x6 6 approximation here is 7.6286 10 to the power of minus 3 correct so we have matched all these terms you can see up to this place so that's fair enough right 10 to the power of minus 3 so we get our result as uh, now when I do 10 to the power of minus 3 I could write this as equal to 0 point so three places right so we get 0 0.007628 so this becomes our interest per month right so that becomes the interest per month. So interest per month, I will, we can multiply this by 100 and get our interest rate. So if I multiply this by 100, which is uh, 0 0.7628% uh, per month, correct? So that becomes per month interest. Now in case you want to find this interest rate for annum uh, you could multiply this by 12 right so if I multiply this by 12 we get 9.15 as our uh, interest rate per annum right but we really wanted to know interest rate per month in our case right I interest rate compounding period so if for compounding period find the equivalent monthly interest rate right so so the monthly interest rate is uh, 0 0.7682 percent so the answer here is monthly interest rate is 0 0.7628 percent clear so that is how you could actually solve this so what you learned here is also how to use your uh, calculator effectively to find answer so if you want e annum per annum then it'd be nine percent nine point something correct uh, now this is a very good method to calculate interest rate uh, for any situation which is given like this I hope you find it interesting and useful thanks for watching and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great all the best